beautiful people, it's your girl. I'm still Asia, baby. Cause every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome. Okay. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. Okay? You taking applications for any backup dancers? And backup singles? Show sure, it. I need a whole crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to be the first some one to put whoppers. my application okay. in. I'm going to be, be the first one to put my application in. I'm I just need saying. some doo whoppers, baby. Yeah. Okay? You want to be my doo whopper in the back? That's what I'm saying. I can, I can definitely do the doo whopper. Damn. I got my first. Wop the my... wop. <laughs> Call me the wopster. Dancer. Call me the wopster. Yeah. If y'all didn't know, y'all got to check out Asia and BJ's channel. Make sure y'all go over there and check out the content over there. We got some fire reactions for y'all, okay? So. Make sure y'all go over there and tap in, join the fam, okay? Um, today, as y'all can see, I got my guy Bill Burr back yeah. in the building. <laughs> okay? This be good. This one is um, Bill Burr on black people. Oh, hell. This is what you put me in here for? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all know it's going to be some mess. Y'all know it, okay? Yeah. Let me scoot up, babe. Sorry. I'm I, like, I, I, rubbing on you. I like this kind of comedy for... I like this kind of comedy when it kind of cross like like racial racial divide, you know, and and kind of and kind of you do, yeah. I I I, I just sure. I, I just like yeah. I just like how they like to make you know make parody in regards to a lot of different things in regards to different ethnic groups. Okay. Because sometimes it does ring true. Right. That's all. Okay. Well, then that's what you think. Okay. <laughs> No, I don't know, y'all. I don't know what don't we, either. what we, you know, you can never know what Bill Burr, what he about to say, what he about to be talking about, y'all. But all I know <laughs> is we about to get into this video. I ain't finna hold this video up, y'all. This video is long enough. So go on and get your popcorn ready. And let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Uh. Okay. Ow. Uh. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, bring y'all on. There we go. Me neither. <laughs> Mine too. It's nice to be back here down the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming. And it's coming oh, yeah, hard. Oh, yeah, we saw that. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. Uh. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, like, doing the wave. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Okay. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining bang, down on bang, top of me. Bang. <laughs> I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of, like, a potential ass-kicking that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> it will lead to that. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word, hot potato, just threw it in my lap. Like, hey. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Don't put that in my mouth. Pass it down to the part. next white dude. <laughs> that's, that's dangerous now. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? No, man. <laughs> I start rattling off answers. Then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet. You tell me about your militia. Oh, my shit. You uh. just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash. He would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> look at his face. You know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you? Their eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game! <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville He's just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And, uh, what? I, I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. 
<laughs> Not I get rid of them. spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them. Because I got to like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. <laughs> oh, yeah, we saw, this. we saw this in the uh, Harlem. Harlem and uh, what was it? Cl- the Harlem clothes and... Okay. Oh, when he was talking about the guy when he went yeah, up to Harlem yeah, to meet okay. the chick. Yeah, this must be like a compilation of like a whole bunch of his stuff like put together. Because cause I feel like the first two we've already seen. I th- did you know when the N-word is coming? Did you see that I think one? so with Terrell. Okay, yeah. yep, yep. so this one we've seen too, but I don't know. I don't, there's, it's 20 minutes worth of stuff, so I don't know what we see. Oh, no. Lord. Let me, just, let me just put that out there, so right, yeah. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Okay. Brand new shit, so when I show up. With my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I iron the shit, right? I iron it, right? It's new. They just start trashing it's me. It's new. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland? Every color. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. <laughs> It's you called style, it. brother. It's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was, like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got a nice car. He's got all the women. And he's still fucking mad. These black dudes are never happy. <laughs> but after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit uh. out of me. <laughs> no. I figured out my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time you leave the hey. building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! That's a good assertion. Everyone sucks making fun of him. <laughs> you better know He's it. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying something's going to happen. I'm just saying. I'm paying attention. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used oh, it. Oh, God. To one night, I was going out with this black girl, Hold right? Up. She was getting ready, and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had, like, a rash or something. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what are they, like, poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? Ashy. She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit, because I was like, wow. Oh. She's like, well, white people get ashy, too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. Uh-oh. <laughs> I never even heard that word until you said it. He's going to find out. To, <laughs> you know, he about to crazy. find out today. <laughs> he, he about to find out. This video was so hilarious, y'all. The comments that were under the video that we did on this on this segment. And, oh, oh and my I read it, too. Gosh. A lot of people were like, man, it is so <laughs> true. <laughs> I I'm, never a, I'm a white guy and I'm 45 years old and I still don't wear it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, like, I saw those comments too. I wonder like, that. Uh, so many of them was like, yo, I never even knew about lotion until I watched this video. To watch Bill Burr? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I need y'all to get it together. Please okay? do. Lashy. Please get it together. I never even heard that word until you said it. <laughs> She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. <laughs> This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, uh, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. Why do people get ashy now? Out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. <laughs> And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower. Why? I'm fucking itching again. <laughs> Damn it, I hate the winter. <laughs> See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. There you go. <laughs> White people totally missed the lotion seminar <laughs> at some point in history. Uh, I don't listen. know if it's because we can't see it, you know? Black people get ashy, it looks like... He said white people totally missed the, the, the lotion the, seminar, the, the white seminar. The, the, the lotion seminar. 
and, and but he's true. I got I got I got friends back in the day. I I never seen lotion in their house. Oh and my, my white friends. Oh my god. Except for one. Except for one. They Shout like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. You know they could see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Right. We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Oh, shit. Right? <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered <laughs> Glock in the car just blows my mind. Hey. Like, why would you do that hey. to yourself? <laughs> do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like Say. the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. Oh. Uh, he just had one white friend in his entourage. The dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? Dude, get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. <laughs> you got, how, do you, how do you not know that? That's your white question. friend. How do you not fucking know that? <laughs> the white the about, about, the, about the, yeah, unregistered the guns. The unregistered, no, come on, brother. <laughs> Okay, don't believe in these myths. Uh. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. They all got a giant oil drum with the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dunk themselves in it, shake themselves <laughs> off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. Glistening! All right? So I sit oh down, my God. and I'm watching this documentary mm. as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, Watching this white shit, it's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. All right? Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now, I hate saying that, because it makes it seem like I'm gonna start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know those dumb white guy, black guy jokes? And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? The black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You gotta relax, man. You just gotta let it happen. All right? I'm trying to tell you. No, man. I'm trying to tell you. It's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a woman. All right? It's going to be the same fights. I don't there care you go. What? who you're with. I'm not gonna lie to you, there might be more head movement and hand gestures <laughs> with different races of women. Possibly an oh index my God. jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's the same fights. What's going on with us? Do you need to work on this? Why don't we communicate better, right? So she starts watching this shit as a black person, right? And uh, she's seeing all the racism, obviously, that I'm seeing, but she was catching all this subtle shit that I was too white to see, but I knew I was missing it, because I just kept hearing her huffing and puffing, just sitting next to me being like... Ah, pff, pff, pff. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, okay, somebody did something. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I don't think that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. So right when, I, right when I didn't think it could get any worse, it could get any more uncomfortable between the two of us. This fucking white dude comes on who evidently discovered Elvis. And he's like 190 years old. And he comes out and starts talking. He's just like, well, uh, basically, uh, I was looking for a white boy that could take the down and dirty, nasty blues and combine it with the pristine, angelic sounds of bluegrass. Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was suddenly putting black shit down here while he was propping up the white shit. You know, the down and dirty, uh. daddy not sticking around, drug infested neighborhood blues. Oh, with shit. Me, Jesus is white as me. Uh. Oh, oh, oh shit. Angelic bluegrass playing music, right? What? Oh, point, my wife uh. has a fucking steam coming out of her ears. So I make a judgment call. I, j I just fucking shut it off, right? And she looks at me. She's like, why did you shut that off? Why did you shut it off? I was like, because you're about three minutes away from yelling at me like I produced this music. Like he did it. Like, right, 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 right. Let me go and cut that off. He's like, sure, I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't hey, want no parts of that. He's try, he trying to avoid getting, get, get, getting the hand and jabbing into his forehead. Hey, he's trying to avoid it. Look, he, hey, he doing good. He know. He like, sure, let me go and look. I ain't got nothing to do with him. Let's go and go to bed, babe. Uh, <laughs> Shoot. Uh. Let's just, let's just forget it. We'll watch something else. She's like, no, why can't we just watch the rest of this and then discuss it afterwards? Oh, uh, 
No. I, said, I, said, I, don't, I don't fucking do that. I just want to watch a documentary. I don't want to have a fucking lecture because of these fucking assholes. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I right. just sit there watching TV. <laughs> I ain't did nothing. And not to mention, we're just, we're just going to get into an argument. She's like, well, why would we get into an argument? I'm like, ugh. All right, you know why? Because not she to not there you. some black people in there saying some shit that I didn't agree with, you know? I'm not huffing and puffing. Yeah, I said that. Oh, my God. <laughs> like a Please. fucking idiot. And she just looks at me. She's like, right like there. what black people? <laughs> like what black people that said what? Uh-oh, here you go. And at that point, it's like you started the luge, right? You can't get off the fucking sled. It's too late now. Now you got to have the argument. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, here we go. Guess we're having this. And I'm like, all right. Uh, all right, the black guy who brought up leg shaking, saying Elvis took leg shaking from us. It's like, really? Leg shaking? No, nobody thought to, 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 to fucking do this. Black people came up with that. You're telling me that? I'll even give you that. Let's say you came up with that. But where did that black dude learn how to do it? Didn't he watch some older black guy do it? But what, because he's the same color? He, he, he's not stealing, he's just carrying on the tradition. But if Elvis does it, oh, oh, what the fuck? Now he's the biggest thief ever? That doesn't make any sense to me. She goes, no, you idiot. It's not about the leg shaking, okay? It's, it's about, he appropriated a culture. He took all the music, he got all the money, got all the fame, he's called the king of it now, and he never gave a shit, not even a shout out. And I was like, all right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that, is uh oh, here comes the argument. You made about seven or eight good points there that I can't refute. <laughs> <laughs> you, you he appropriated that, right. a culture. I get it. You're right. She goes, fine. Thank you. And I go, however. Oh, <laughs> oh God. You here messed up. You messed Do up. Do I get mad at you when you get on a skateboard and you start going down the fucking street? <laughs> Do I get all offended like, hey, man, that's the white shit. Stop appropriating <laughs> oh. my culture, man. <laughs> Some dirty white kid in Santa Monica Bill. came up no. with that, man. So she starts laughing. And I should have stopped there, but I'm a comedian. Right? Uh -oh. I'm like, oh, I'm getting a laugh. There's got to be a bigger laugh. So keep going, Bill. Let's come with another example. So I'm like, yeah, do I get mad at you when you fly from L.A. to New York in under six hours? And she just, yeah. yeah. And she just stares at me. She's just like, that was fucked up. <laughs> Wait, wait, but I didn't get it. No, he was saying in regards to uh, him flying from L.A. to New York and it only taking six hours. What does that mean? <laughs> you don't you don't know what it means? No. <laughs> Babe, don't laugh. What does it mean? Y'all drop a comment and let her know. How am I supposed to know? I don't get, <laughs> it to get the joke. I mean, for the most part, because a, a, a lot of other people probably might have, might have had to take in like a like a connecting flight or something like that. And he just saying that he just flying straight from L.A. to New York. That's what I took from it. A lot of other people probably would have had to have taken like oh, a like connected a private, flight. Oh, like a private jet or like some type of private plane Pro probably, or something? Probably. probably okay, that's there what I was hours. thinking, but I was like... It's probably like, get there in six hours, but yeah, everybody else is going to have to take like a connecting flight. It's going to take you like 12 hours or something, you know, nine hours or something like that. <laughs> Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that's the yeah. We don't do that enough. <laughs> okay. He said straight from LA to New York. Yeah. Okay. Now I was like, I don't get it. What is he talking about? Like I thought that's, that's what, what he that's was what talking I took about. from it. Yeah. yeah. I thought maybe private jet, but I'm like, he didn't say that. So I thought, no. okay, 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 gotcha. Stares at me. She's just like, that was fucked up. <laughs> Paying attention. So I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh. It's black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. He goes to take out like a sore thumb. Yeah, because you know the deal, right? Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th Street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st Street, start getting like a little asthma, like, hey, that's a little high up. You feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106th Street, you're like that's, leaning that's on shit. Like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? No, not that way. Dude, what's I'm the bodega? Dennis, let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. 
So I'm praying to God she's going to tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing <laughs> over the horizon, you know? <laughs> but she goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Every time Jesus Christ, that's like look, 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 look. everything. <laughs> It's all in your chest. I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know. And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know. She's like, take a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> Yo, dude, Why? go on the internet, look at Adam Clayton. <laughs> Did he kill a bunch of white people during the slavery? No, bro. Uh. Dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. Really? He said, he said, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton it's, did. Until I know exactly what he did. Why, why is the street named after you? Right. Oh, my God. Come on, bro. So at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going. No, come on, man. We can do this, all right? Just relax. Don't listen to him. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? Oh, my God. So, as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get you up, too? it's like 5 or 4 in the morning, right? I'm staying on, like, Malcolm X and, like, Danny Glover or some shit, right? <laughs> I don't even know who it is. Danny hell I'm Glover. When I see the street, I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. Right there. Fuck! <laughs> I thought I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. Surviving Harlem. So I'm thinking, I got to walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know, but I'm also really, really white, you know? <laughs> like, shockingly Caucasian. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. <laughs> no, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> I feel like I should have had, like, a little pot of gold. Like a rainbow behind me, top of the morning to you, latte. Uh -uh. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. <laughs> <laughs> hip hop countdown. It's yeah, like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, <laughs> right? It's that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out yep. there. <laughs> fucking crazy. start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and two, the day yourself, like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit Chess all. all tight. Let me keep it together. Too much grass. Keep it together. Chess all tight. <laughs> Fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you the same go feeling, man. Thank you so much for coming out. That's <laughs> crazy. The same feeling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, the windows all <laughs> untinted. You can see white people like straight That's through. That's like, funny yo. as hell. Like, I cannot with you, him. You know, like he, he, like just think about that. Like first, kind of like driving to the suburbs, and you like you chilling and everything. It like was a mess. As you get closer, he like, uh. <laughs> oh God! Like, everything let me looks get up all different. It feels wheel. different. My chest getting all tight and everything. Sure. My asthma start getting all nervous and stuff. You know? Like your car stick out for like a short thumb. You got yeah. rims all on it and everything. Like you know, yeah. shoot, yeah. pop it. And then he, and then when he get over to our house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's sitting down watching uh, Leave It to Beeble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Brady Bunch. <laughs> That was funny. He said he got over to our house and started watching the hip-hop countdown. Don't nobody watch Leave it to Beaver. What? He, y'all. I cannot take you serious, man. No, y'all. No. That ain't it. No, but he called me when he was like, she, when he got over there, he watching the hip-hop countdown. Like, that, like that's what you're going to be watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, yeah. just, that's crazy. Right. Okay? No telling what you're going to see when you get over there. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. So...
If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification <laughs> bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Uh, don't be laughing at me. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>